molecular gastronomy, combining two of my favorite things, science and food. Today, I've got my daughter here with me to help make poppin' boba, the edible sensation that's sweeping the nation. You can make popping boba with just about any liquid, but today we chose mango juice. The process is really easy, and here's how we did it. So I've got a kitchen scale here, and I measured out just two grams of sodium alginate powder. We're gonna add that to the mango juice. You're gonna use any household blender and mix this up. So a lot of people get concerned when they hear about eating chemicals, but sodium alginate is incredibly safe. It's just a long chain carbohydrate that's extracted from seaweed. In fact, there are several studies that say that eating sodium alginate is actually has some health benefits. We let this mixture sit overnight in the fridge and then you're going to end up with a thicker concoction and this is now ready for the process of verification. So now to turn this concoction into the little balls you know as boba, we have to add some calcium chloride, just two grams of that to fresh water, and then we drop the concoction in. Now we simply form droplets with our syringe and let them fall into the calcium chloride solution. This begins the polymerization process. If you let them sit for too long, they're going to become solid and they won't pop in your mouth. If they don't sit long enough, there's no shell formed at all. We found the sweet spot to be about 40 seconds. We found a tea strainer to be super helpful when lifting the boba out of the calcium chloride solution and put it in a fresh water bath. If you made the boba correctly, it should pop in your mouth. <laughs> Cheers. I hope you had fun with our...